former White House advisor for the Trump administration and host of the Gorka Reality Check, Sebastian Gorka, right here on Newsmax. Dr. Gorka, good to see you. Uh, Donald Trump, by the way, just the contrast. I want to show you, so Joe Biden's America, Joe Biden voters yesterday in New York City, uh, burning an American flag in midtown Manhattan. I think we've got the video. Um, I'll tell you what, proud parents right here to see that. This guy's got a mask on. I guess it's because of the smoke from the flag. Uh, maybe it's COVID. <laughs> I, I have no idea. But contrast that with Donald Trump at a rally in Harlem and people chanting again in Harlem, four more years, four more years. What do you make of that contrast? Well, I, I think this is the delightful thing about the, the Democrats. Um, they're evil, they're wicked, they hate America, but they're also cretinous. I mean, they are like clinical imbeciles. The idea of this case going forward, uh, barring the president from appearing at the Supreme Court or his son's high school graduation, I mean, they're, they're, they're re-electing him every single day that these lawfare attacks against him proceed. I mean, it's it's ingenious retail politics. I don't know who had the idea, whether it was the president himself. Every day he's in New York, he should go to a different part of New York and have a rally, basically, thanks to Engeron, thanks to Merchan, thanks to uh, Alvin Bragg. This is how he walks back into the White House. And if I may, Rob, um, I'm not an emeritus law for pre professor from Harvard, but I couldn't disagree more strenuously with uh, Professor Dershowitz on the issue of high crimes and misdemeanors and treason. When Alejandro Mayorkas lets in 10,000 illegals today, when people, beautiful young Americans like Lake and Riley are murdered by people who are let in here by his Department of Homeland Security, yes, he should be impeached for being the largest human smuggler in American history and mm. aiding and abetting the cartel. So that's one yeah. American's take. So the contrast yesterday, pretty interesting. Trump forced to sit in a courtroom all day, seven hours. Meanwhile, Biden able to hit the campaign trail in battleground state of Pennsylvania in his hometown of Scranton, the place where he was born and raised. Here's what he said when he took the stage. Take a listen. My grandfather would tell me when I walked out the door in North, Scranton, North, 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 Scranton, North Washington Avenue in Scranton. Yeah, Sebastian, he can't even get out Scranton. And there, that was one yeah. of many gaffes that we saw yesterday. No, 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 no. sorry. A, a, a gaffe is when you just, you know, accidentally misspeak. <laughs> a gaffe's when you say, <laughs> let's say you're talking about the continent of Africa and you call Africa a country. That's that was, a gaffe. That's right. Rob. Okay. Right. My mistake was I didn't correct myself, yeah. but Africa is most certainly a continent. Sorry, Dr. Gorka, to you. <laughs> no, the, the, this guy is mentally compromised. Look, I, again, I'm not a medical doctor. I'm a PhD. But just go back five years, just five years, not, not 20. I mean, he's been in politics for, what, 49 years. Uh, go back 10 years and watch videos of Senator Biden and comparing today. Mm -hmm. He is cognitively impaired. And the idea that this man, 24 hours a day, is within 20 feet of the nuclear football should petrify everyone. I mean, if we could ignore war in Ukraine, war in the Middle East, the rising China, uh, that would be bad enough, but we can't. And the fact that this is the guy who's supposed to keep us safe, he can't walk up stairs. Who, which person, which person who seems to be healthy falls four times on one staircase. The fact that he has to use the kiddie stairs for Air Force One now, and they won't allow him to go up the presidential stairs, tells you this man cannot be the president. 